Hi, I'm Mike from Michael's Motor Cars, located in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, and I actually am very excited to bring a car to show you to look at that we are offering for sale. Come on over and take a look at it. This car is a 1967 Ghia 1500 GT. They are quite rare. They're a car that was built by the Ghia Body Company. They used Fiat 1500 underpinnings. This car, we had one of these cars about a year or two ago that we sold as a complete project car, but I was really excited to get this car to see what they really look like, to see what they are in their restored form. This car received a very extensive rotisserie style restoration. Uh, within the last 10 years, uh, we bought it from a fellow who bought it five years ago, and it's only had about 800 miles put on it since it was fully restored. And we have all the documentation. You'll see that we'll be listing photos of the rotisserie, photos of the car while it was being restored. Everything was beautifully done. All the chrome is great, very nice. This Italia badge is not original to the car. It is just put on. It can be removed quite easily. This is a correct and original Ghia emblem here. When they did the restoration of the car, they did one significant change, which I actually happen to like on this car. They pulled out the Fiat 1500 drivetrain and in its place installed a Volvo B20, which you may see here. We'll do extensive photos. It fits in there beautifully. It is the Volvo B20. It has its twin SU carburetors. Uh, it runs great. Uh, they still have the battery, is in the original location up front, running the original radiator. It's a very, very well done installation. Along with the Volvo engine, they did the Volvo four speed with electric overdrive transmission. So you have a very strong, sturdy, reliable drivetrain that probably effectively almost doubled the horsepower on the car. So it actually, it's a lot of fun to drive the way it's configured right now. Everything else is completely stock on the transformation. As we go along the side of the car, have these very cool door latches. Here's the Ghia badge, which is correct. When they did the restoration, of course, they did a full interior trim. So all the chrome door handles, this is the window crank, this is the door handle, it's all beautifully done. The dash, the gauges, the steering wheel are all in excellent condition. Of course, it's the Volvo four-speed. The previous owner, who was a woodworker, added that little wood piece under the shifter, and he added the center console piece. That is not original to the car. They can be removed, and you can just have the carpeting there. They actually fit in quite nicely, and I think they look fine, uh, but they can be removed quite easily. All the glass, all the trim, again, this was a very nicely done restoration. Uh, it was done about 10 years ago. There are a few minor scratches in the paint that have been touched up. We'll show you photos of those. So it's not perfect, but it is very, very close. Uh, the car also comes with a static display of the original engine that came out of the car. So this is the Fiat 1500. It has been cosmetically restored. I do not know if it was rebuilt internally, uh, so I can't speak to that. But it is the original motor to the car, and that comes with the car. I would just recommend using it as a static display. Back to the car. These cars, I mean, and they are confused a lot. People wonder what they are. They think they're, they're Ferraris, or what are they because of the taillight lenses. Uh, they look like a shrunk down Ferrari. Very mid-60s styling. I think they're gorgeous. The trunk is finished out, all carpeted. We have the full spare, we have the jack, and again, very nicely done. And I know I'll get in trouble for the mini Ferrari comment, so let's just say it's nice 60s Italian styling. All of the lines on the car are just gorgeous. Uh, it's very nicely done. Coming along this side of the car, same as the left side, very smooth, very straight. You'll see in our chassis photos underneath, it's just as clean underneath because when they did the rotisserie, they took the time to do everything correctly. Period correct radio, painted dash, all the correct original switch gear. Everything's working on the car. And with the Volvo drivetrain, it's really a hoot to drive. Uh, it's a light car. 
and very responsive. The suspension is nice. Shut lines and everything are beautiful. The fit and finish on the car are quite nice. So coming along to the front of the car, it just has, it's just a beautifully designed car. So if you're looking for a very rare car, there were, I think, 35 or 38 of these that came to the States, and that's it. Uh, quite rare, uh, fun, collectible car, very reliable with the Volvo engine. It'll be accepted and, and welcomed at a lot of Italian events just because it's so rare and so pretty. So please ask us any questions you may have. We'll be happy to answer them. We're going to do a starting video and a driving video shortly so you'll be able to see and hear the car alive. Thanks for taking the time and looking at our car.